Welcome to our lesson on finding the inverse of a function. So we're going to begin by working out the inverse function of f of x equals 2x minus 3. And to do this, we need to make x the subject of this function. And to make the notation simpler, I'm going to replace f of x with y. So y is equal to 2x minus 3. And to work out the inverse of this function, I'm going to make x the subject. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides, because then these will cancel. So I've got y, add 3, is equal to 2x. And I will divide both sides by 2. So these will cancel. So I'm left with y plus 3 divided by 2 is equal to x. Now y is a term that we made up to make the notation simpler. But actually, it is x. And this is now the inverse function of x. We write this as the inverse function, after a power of negative 1, of x is x plus 3 divided by 2. So again, I have replaced this y with x here. And now I've got the inverse function of x. I can work out part 2 where the inverse function when x is 7. So, for the inverse function of 7, x is equal to 7. I substitute 7 in place of x here. So we have 7 plus 3 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So this is 5. Okay, let's try question 3. And for question 3, I've worked out the inverse function of x, and now I'm going to substitute it in 2x plus 1. So rather than substituting in a number in place of x, now I'm substituting in this expression. So we have this x replaced with 2x plus 1. So we have 2x plus 1 plus the 3 divided by 2. I can simplify the numerator, so we have 2x plus 4 divided by 2. Half of a 2x is x, and half of a 4 is 2. So this becomes x plus 2. Okay, let's move on to another question. So in this question we have g of x is 5x plus 4. And we've been asked to work out the inverse function of g of x here. Do you want to try question four yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we'll begin by replacing g of x with y. So y is equal to 5x plus 4. And when I work out the inverse function, I am rearranging this equation to make x the subject. So I begin by taking away 4 from both sides. And these will cancel. So y take away 4 is equal to 5x. I'll divide both sides by 5. And these will cancel. So I'm left with y take away 4 over 5. So the inverse function of g of x, I replace this y with the x. Take away the 4 divided by 5. And for question 5, I can substitute in when x is equal to 14 to the inverse function. So x equals 14. We have 14 minus 4 over 5, which is 2. And for part 6, I'm going to substitute this expression into our inverse function g of x. So we'll substitute in 10x minus 1 here. And then we'll take away the 4. And we'll divide it by 5. We can simplify our numerator. So we have 10x minus 5 over 5. Which is 2x minus 1. Okay, let's try one more question. So finally... We've been given that h of x is 
the square root of 2x plus 1. Do you want to try and work out questions A, B and C? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question A, I'm going to replace the h of x with y, which is the square root of 2x plus 1. To work out the inverse function, I make x the subject of this equation, which I start by squaring both sides, because the square and the square root will cancel. So I have y squared is equal to 2x plus 1. I'll take away the 1 from both sides, and these will cancel. So I have y squared minus 1 is equal to 2x, and I'll divide both sides by 2. So x is equal to y squared minus 1 over 2. So the inverse function of x, we will replace this y with the x, and we get x squared minus 1 over 2. And for question b, we'll substitute x as 5. So the inverse function of x, which is 5, is 5 squared minus 1 over 2. 24 over 2 is 12. And finally, for question c, we'll replace the x with this expression. So we have x plus 1 squared minus the 1 over 2. We'll expand this bracket. So we have x plus 1, lots of x plus 1, which is x squared plus the x plus the other x and the 1. So this simplifies to make x squared plus 2x plus 1, which I can write here. We'll take away this 1. And we'll divide it all by 2. And these will cancel. So we have x squared plus 2x over 2. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.